I want to bring in NBC's Dasha Burns, who's covering the Trump transition, MSNBC host and Washington Post associated editor, Jonathan Capehart, New Yorker, staff writer and author Susan Glasser, and MSNBC legal analyst and former U.S. attorney Barbara McQuaid. Dasha, what do we know about this pick and why Donald Trump chose Matt Gates? Well, that since deleted ex post, Anna, that is something he has said plenty of times in the past. And the blowtorch that you talk about, Steve Bannon, Trump ally, is who just got out of prison, by the way, is the, talked about Matt Gates as that blowtorch to the government. This is somebody who has been a staunch foot soldier for President-elect Trump. He defended him over January 6th. He has time and time again talked about this weaponized justice system that he will now play a leading role in. This is somebody that has very much felt like the the three-letter agencies that he mentioned are coming after Republicans, and he wants them either to come to heel, as he has said in the past, or to disband them altogether. And this is something, a decision that is making people like Steve Bannon very excited, and then really, as you read there in the intro, uh, stunning, shocking, and, and scaring some of the longtime civil servants that have been a part of the justice system. I mean, Donald Trump and his his team around him had to see this kind of blowback coming, no? And I think that's part of the decision, frankly, is to say, I am installing who I want to install, whether you like it or not. And uh, Gates is perhaps the most controversial pick so far, but uh, others like Tulsi Gabbard at DNI and Christine Nome at the Department of Homeland Security, who has no immigration experience, right? He is rebuilding this in the image that he wants to see the government. And he, we've already heard him talking about these potential recess appointments where he could bypass confirmation. He wants to fully take the reins as much as possible on it. We'll see if this, in fact, does get all the way through the confirmation process. Dasha Burns, thanks for your reporting. Barbara, you have served as a U.S. attorney. You know what the job of AG entails and the impact of any pick. What's your reaction to Trump, Trump's choice? Um, complete and utter horror. Matt Gates is incredibly ill-suited for this position. He lacks experience. He's never been a prosecutor. He practiced law only for a couple of years before he started to run for statewide office uh, as a state rep in Florida. Um, this is a position that has to be based on law and on facts. And based on his comments and behavior in the past, I don't think we should have any confidence that Matt Gates can be that leader. This is an organization that has 110,000 employees. There are prosecutors and civil lawyers, FBI, DEA and ATF agents, uh, the Bureau of Prisons, statisticians at the Bureau of Justice Statistics, grant makers. Um, and the idea that someone is going to come in with the idea of a blowtorch, unless we can get our people in there, is a complete uh, uh, tipping on its head uh, the principles uh, and the integrity of the Justice Department. We are still seeing reaction coming in, but just take a listen to some of the initial reaction we heard from GOP senators. I don't think it's a serious nomination for the attorney general. That's Lisa Murkowski's view. I was a little surprised at that one. Yeah. More than a little surprised. I didn't like the way he handled the, the, the um, squabble with, with uh, Speaker McCarthy. I, I think it was, uh, I thought it was unnecessary. I thought it was divisive. Um, I think that the conference suffered. Jonathan, I have to think there are plenty of MAGA line loyalists and lawyers who would have sailed through a Senate confirmation. How do you make sense of this pick? Why create this headache? Um, well, you know, it's Donald Trump being Donald Trump. But I also wonder if some of the theories um, that they were talking about on Morning Joe earlier might be at play here. And that is um, President-elect Trump nominating someone as loathsome and loathed on Capitol Hill as Matt Gates only to have him back out and bring in someone else who, without Matt Gates being the first choice, might not have made it through confirmation. And so I don't know who that could possibly be, but um, for a week where we have seen uh, the president-elect make cabinet appointments that have had people scratching their heads, uh, in the case of Senator Marco Rubio, being relieved in, in part because that's who he wants to be um, uh, secretary of state. But the, the trio of announcements in the national security space 
from T Tulsi Gabbard as DNI, um, Hegseth as SecDef, and now Matt Gates as the head of the Department of Justice. I, I, I am mystified. I have no idea why he picked this person who has gone on record as saying he wants to basically, metaphorically, blow up the Department of Justice. And what would that mean for the rule of law uh, in this country? What would it mean for, for federal agents around the country who are doing the hard work and necessary work of keeping this nation safe, but also keeping it safe from bad actors from the outside and within? And doing their work without fear or favor, which is a big piece of, right. of the work that they do that makes our system so special. I just want to read some of, let's say, the colorful reaction NBC has gotten from DOJ staffers about the Gates pick. One senior mm -hmm. official asks, what the expletive is happening? Another senior official, absolutely unbelievable. One official telling us he is uniquely qualified. How many other prospective attorneys general had previous experience as the subject of a criminal investigation? A former senior DOJ official telling us he is the least qualified person ever nominated for a position in the department. Susan, what are you hearing? And have you seen this level of outcry from the DOJ before? The thing is, is that it's a little bit hard when you hear the comments about this is unbelievable because Donald Trump, uh, as always, has actually told us very clearly what he planned to do. He he told us this very clearly in the campaign that just happened. And, uh, you know, he has made the idea that he's going to take over the Department of Justice and essentially use it against what he called the political enemies within, that he believes that he has uh, a mission, really, of vengeance for for what he believes were the, the wrongful investigations of himself and his allies. Uh, that was something that Trump explicitly referenced in his statement announcing his intent to nominate Congressman Gates yesterday. Uh, he went, went all the way back to what he calls Russia, Russia, Russia at the start of his first term in office. This is the grievance that Trump has had and that he very clearly signaled. This is not some surprise or departure from what he campaigned on, but in fact, it's very consistent with that. And of course, Gates has been one of Trump's loudest promoters on television. That's another thing all these appointments have in common, is that these are loyalists to Trump the man, as opposed to Trump the ideology, uh, and that they have said very clearly that they are willing to undertake whatever it is that Trump wants them to undertake. Now, as far as the reactions go, I think on Capitol Hill is very notable. Senator John Fetterman, a Democrat from Pennsylvania, he said, this is God-tier level trolling. Uh, to, he wants to permanently own the libs. But it's also an effort to own his own party, I think, to showcase mm. that Republicans on the Hill are willing to do even his most extreme bidding.